Hey everyone, Technometry here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iPhone 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, or any of the newer iPhone on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and start opening up our iPhone here. So I have it right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. And there's a charger cable in there if you need to charge it. Sometimes you may need to charge it, especially if you're getting out of the box for the very first time. So let's go ahead and put it, assuming you have already charged it, let's go ahead and turn it on by holding down this side button right here. As you can see here, if you hold on a few seconds, Apple logo up here, that means the phone is powering on. So that's a good start. So let's go ahead and wait for it to power on and then get started with the process to setting it up. So here I'm going to wait a few seconds here. And as you can see, once you get the hello screen, we're ready to set up. You're going to start by swiping up your finger to get to this menu You're going to select the language and the country of the region so i'm going to select mine here you can customize the appearance so if you wanted to make it bigger you can just go ahead and make it bigger i'm going to leave it as default and hit continue and then a quick start now if you happen to have another iphone already you can already set it up by transferring everything over or you can just set it up without another device and the very first thing you're going to be prompted to do is enter a wi-fi uh, connection or you can have a cellular connection as well if you don't have a Wi-Fi but I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the Wi-Fi here so we can set this up so I'm gonna enter my Wi-Fi password here now once you enter your Wi-Fi password just say join here to get connected to the internet but an internet connection is needed in order to activate your iPhone with the Apple server so as you can see here it's just, it takes a few minutes to activate but generally this process is pretty quick all right, so after that, it's going to say data and privacy. Hit continue here. And then if you're setting up this phone, you can set it up for yourself. Or if you choose for a child that's younger than 12, you can do that step. I'm going to go ahead and make it easy to set it up myself here. Face ID, if you want to use Face ID to do like unlocking your phone, using Apple Pay, making purchases or Apple services, you want to set that up. It's just going to scan your face. I'm just going to set up later for now just to make it easier. And then passcode, you want to put a passcode. Now you have the option to a six digit uh, numeric one, or you can do a four digit numeric one, or you can I'll customize to any of these options. So you have multiple options. So I'm just going to make mine simple, but of course, don't do this one. This is not something you want to use. Then just make it simple just to go through that process to create a passcode. And from there on, this is going to be the important part is if you are moving your data from another device, it ha it could be iPhone, even an Android phone, doesn't matter, or iCloud backup if you backed up your data with an existing account. Now you want to follow this prompt specifically for whatever option applies to you. Or if you simply do not want to do any of that, you can simply start fresh. You can say don't transfer anything. And then comes the important part, which is going to be Apple account. This isn't going to be important because Apple account will allow you to do uh, pretty much most things on your iPhone. If you don't have one, you need to create one. It's free to create, or you can use the existing one. So if you don't have one, you can select this, or if you do, just enter your email or phone number. So I'm going to tap on that one and to show you that you can create one for free by following the prompt, or you can only set up later in the settings. So I'm going to select that option. In the terms and condition, you're going to have to agree here. And if you want a phone to automatically update, you're going to hit continue here. iMessage and FaceTime, this is Apple services. So we're just going to hit continue if you want to use that. Location services, if you want to use it for maps and find my, you want to enable this. So I'm going to hit turn on here. And then the next thing is going to be cellular, basically how you're going to set up your phone service. Now, if you got the phone from a carrier, it will go through this process because you're number is already there if you don't you can transfer it from another device so if you have another iphone next to you you can just simply tap on that it's going to prompt the other iphone to transfer the phone over so you can move your servers or if you have a qr code some your carrier provided a qr code you can scan the qr code or enter the detail manually but this is going to be the part where you need to to do set up your cellular now you can always set up the cellular later in the settings which i can show you as well and then we can skip this if you're not going to be using eSIM. Now, screen time is basically a report. If you want to get the report, how much time you're spending, you can hit continue here. Phone analytics, if you want to share with the data with Apple, I simply don't choose to, but up to you. And then light versus dark mode or auto, choose whatever preference you like. We're going to hit continue. And then Apple intelligence on the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max comes with Apple intelligence. So if you want to use that, you're just going to hit continue. 
and it just basically goes over that. And then on the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max comes a camera control, this button right here. This allows you to open up camera and do certain things like take pictures. So you can hit continue. And then the action button, which is this one right here. By default, you can choose to customize it from silent mode to any of these other options as well. So if you wanted to choose something different, you can. I'm gonna hit continue as is. And then Siri, if you wanna use a voice assistant, especially for Apple Intelligence, you're gonna go ahead, continue, select a voice, and then go through the prompt, but you can only set it up later. And then Emergency SOS, which is a service that iPhone provides, so I'm gonna hit continue, and then swipe up. And as you can see here, we have set up our iPhone ready to go. We can start downloading, installing app. If you didn't set up your cellular, you're gonna get this prompt. So a couple of things here, if you didn't set up your Apple account, you could also do it now by clicking over here. And for cellular, if you didn't set it up, you can go ahead and set it up here again. Set up your cellular, same exact prompt will come up when you click it. But once you have done that, you're pretty much set up and ready to start using your iPhone. Remember to download any apps, you just go to the App Store and then make sure you're signed in to your Apple account. And then you're going to do is go ahead and search for the app by going to the search page or browse around and find the app that you like to install. But that's how you go ahead and set up your iPhone 16, 16 Pro Max. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. See you guys next time.